Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and in this video we will look at fact table and dimension tables. But before we go on to facts and dimensions, let's talk about measures. Now what are measures? Measures are numbers or you know values. Um, so 1200 is a measure, but do we know what that means? Um, what is 1200? It can be it can be money, it can be length, breadth, it can be square feet, whatever. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that measure on its own doesn't mean anything. Now let's add some dimension to it. So let's say dollar 1200. Now we know we are talking about money, but still what is it? Is it cost of something? So still, you know, there is some context, but not much that we can make meaning out of it. And then we say, okay, let's say the dimension is pay. And we are saying pay is equal to $1,200. But still, is it like monthly rate or hourly rate or daily wages or what? So yeah, pay is a dimension, but not um, but not that much. It doesn't give that that much of a context to, to $1,200. So the same thing applies to facts and uh, dimension tables. So say you have a fact table called transactions. In in fact tables, you store um, um, you store measurements. You you hold uh, uh, you hold data which in itself has no meaning and and you know it needs dimension table to give context to it. So usually your facts table would store um, numbers and you know quantifiable info like salary or number of credits or sales numbers and all so in this table transaction type transactions table which is a fact table you can see we have transaction id it's a numeric column then we have product id uh, which is an alphabetic column then we have customer id which is alphanumeric so all these three columns are just simply some random patterns or numbers which on itself uh, in itself don't mean anything like transaction id one two three four five six seven eight nine it doesn't mean anything so same goes with product id and customer id then you have transaction date um, then you have quantity and amount now quantity and amount are, are, are measurements so uh, quantity basically says the so this record basically states uh, what customer bought what product on what date the number of uh, quantity he bought and the amount that he had paid so uh, you have quantity and amount which are again both you know measurements so uh, if a question is asked like give me the total quantity sold in a particular month you can still find that out from this table and if you know you want to see the total amount that was collected for a given month or a year you can find that out using this table but if the question is how much sales did we did in the region of California then you can't answer it because you don't have that info here so this is a basic fact table yeah it has measurements it has numbers and values in it but on its own uh, it doesn't give you that much of an info and it needs help of a dimension table to give context to these facts so the first dimension table that we can look at is the customers table so you can see it has customer id which is again uh, that alphanumeric column then you have customer name where where you have the, all the customers name then you have their phone numbers in the next column and then you know you have state so using this table now you can you know join it with the transactions table and you know answer the question like what was the amount of uh, sales that was done in the state of california but now if the question is something like how many laptops did we sell now we don't have that info here so we can have another uh, dimension table called as products which would you know have all the product details such as you know again the product id which is the uh, alphabetical column then you have product name and then you have product description like here we have product name like a particular company's laptop and you know their configuration in the description like 8 gb of ram 26 256 gigs of storage and all so now you can you know find out from the product name of uh, from the product name like uh, what is the product id for that laptop and then you know join it with the transaction table and answer that so this is basically facts and dimensions facts are measurements and numbers which on itself don't 
hold much of a meaning but then when you know join when you join it with uh, dimension tables you get you get context to it context to those values now you can see that the customer table and the transaction table the customer the dimension table and the transactions fact table can be joined with you know the customer id the customer id resides in the dimension table and it is kind of uh, referenced in the transaction table so the fact table usually has the foreign key and the dimension table usually has the primary key same thing goes with the product id column uh, and uh, and the primary key of the fact table is transactions id so again it's a uh, you can say it's like a, a key that is just used to uniquely identify that record on its own it won't mean anything um, so if I give you primary key as transaction ID alone then you know it doesn't mean anything it is just used to kind of um, get that unique record from the table so let's have a small recap so fact table contains measurements facts or metrics of any attributes and dimension gives context to those facts it holds that those attributes for the facts so fact table on its own uh, has not much meaning uh, only you know wherever there is those additive uh, additive columns where you can just do a sum of the columns like the total sales or you know the total salary and all that that info you can get but whenever you want to slice and dice you need to join it with the dimension tables again facts are numeric and quantifiable and now coming to the data load part of course you will load the dimensions first and then the facts like you will create the customer first you will load the product first and you know then a transaction on that will take place so usually dimensions are loaded first and then the facts are loaded but then again you will have early arriving facts and late arriving dimension concept which i'll come cover in some other video uh, usually uh, a database schema will have less number of facts table and more number of dimension tables fact tables are long because they have all those records uh, the diamonds sta dimensions table are wide because they'll hold all the attributes so that is something that you will kind of notice and then we talked about like the dimension table will usually have the primary key column which will be referenced in the fact table so this is a small introduction to facts and dimensions i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you if you enjoyed watching this video please give a like and subscribe to our channel this is kishan signing off thank you